It's come the day that I have to organize my medicine cabinet. Y'all ready? <laughs> so I posted this in, um, I think like things I want to get done this year. I will put a little card up here or a thing at the end showing what I want to accomplish this year in my home. This is one of them. It just bugs me. So this is our medicine cabinet. It is right next to our kitchen door and our door and then next to our refrigerator. So we keep all of our medicines right here. So here it is. <laughs> so when we moved in, like this is just pretty much where things just started going. So this is kind of like our home junk station. This is gonna be a whole nother one. This one was done by um, a video and it's done pretty well. So yes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out see what I need like we have chemicals and sprays and stuff that we don't want Hannah to be able to get to because it is very dangerous so those things will more likely stay up there but I want I have three containers that I'll use for the medicine so that we can just pull the little boxes out instead of having to like flumble through all the stuff which is what we do that's why things are like jammed in here I even have a screwdriver I have nail polish everywhere because Hannah finds it and then has it I do have one little medicine basket right here but um and some of these prescriptions are old that we either didn't finish and just didn't throw away or there's some vitamins back there oh look there's the peroxide dang it I've been looking for that <laughs> yes okay so let's get started and take everything out So we got everything out. I have three boxes of empty uh, light bulbs, cough syrup, oh, these are cough syrup. So three bottles of empties and all of this. <laughs> so I have decided to keep this stuff in there because all it is is spray paint. I do need to pull. Oh, I see paper, but I can't. See. It's instructions for something. Step by step instructions, but. Um, I can see things, but this is all like harsh chemicals, roach, ant killer, bee stuff, spray paint, and I just need to get that bug spray so we can have that for this summer. So, now we're going to sort through all the medicines and throw them away and put them back. <laughs> Everything from here over is still good and we're keeping it. This, <laughs> look at all the nail polish I had in here. One, two, she sees this, she's not made right now. Three, four, five, six. I had six nail polishes. These are like the main colors. These three are like the main colors that I would wear like in the summer and spring. I'm glad I found them. I tried this. So yeah, I'm going to paint my show notes tonight because I found all my favorite colors. <laughs> all this needs to go in the trash. I need to actually see about disposing this stuff. See if any of it. There's no prescriptions. I don't think you can flush it down the toilet. These are empty. So I need to Google what to do about these vitamins or whatever else. 
make sure that they're okay to go in the in the trash. So I'm gonna look that up first. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna organize them. So the vitamins it says to dispose, um, either mix them in like cat litter or coffee grind, so that like kids or dogs or pets, animals don't get into like the trash. I guess if you were like, if they live near a dump. So I put them in a bag, and I'm gonna drop them off at um, like CVS or Walgreens. Hopefully they'll take them. So I don't know what else to do after that. But um, anyway, or I can just dump them in the cat litter box. <laughs> when Zach dumps it out, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, I have them in a bag safely stored away. So, I'm going to sort this stuff out. I have four containers. Um, I want to do one for, like, everyday stuff. Kind of like Tylenol, gas, uh, vitamins. I still don't take these. Oh, maybe these are expired. No. <laughs> I buy stuff like that because I intentionally want to take it and then I don't. It's Noah's. So trying to organize your medicine is kind of prescriptions. And I keep Noah's prescription bottles are the ones that like, this is one that he cannot, no, that's not it. There's one that he cannot have because he has a bad reaction to it. So I keep it so if the doctor, when they call or if I talk to them, I can tell him he cannot have it. It's a tool. So I have prescription ibuprofen, that's still good. Glue. And if I'm smart, I could probably put that in one of these, like my paints and stuff. So, I'm going to organize all these, and then we'll put it back. Okay, are you all ready? Are you sure? Ta -da! <laughs> so, it looks so much better. So I put in, these boxes are from Dollar Tree and for my cabinet, they fit perfectly. Oh my gosh, like there's not even wiggle room, but they fit perfectly in this cabinet, um, which is nice. Cause I saw these like on, someone had put back and I just grabbed them when I was at Dollar Tree the other day. So I just wrote um, RX for prescriptions over here. Ooh, so I know that that's where like the prescription bottles are. I can set those up, but they'll probably get knocked over. Um, and then I put this back here because I could probably just stick it back there, which I probably will do that because um, there's nothing behind there. This is like daily use, cough medicine, Tylenols, um, heartburn stuff, um, you know, kid stuff, cough syrup, stuff, stuff like that. This one has cough drops, um, some vitamins, some fiber stuff. I'm not keeping the nail polish here. It's just I'm not going upstairs in the next few minutes, and if I leave those on the counter, they will be opened. So uh, this flashlight is still good. So I'm going to keep this right here maybe right here so we know where it's at so it's in use this I'm gonna put sorry this I'm gonna put in our hall closet which I need to clean that um, which is also in that other video so I'm actually gonna put this back here and we're out of the neti pod stuff because that stuff expired but I'm just sticking this stuff right here um, all this stuff is like spray paint and bug spray and stuff like that and then I put paint and glue in that one so if I need like Mod Podge and stuff like that it's all right there this is a little jar of change we had it in the drawer below me but Hannah always went in there and would dump it out so we just keep it high so she can't get to it because she likes to eat change so I think it turned out perfect I love it I'm so glad I feel better. So now I know where everything is. Nobody has to ask me where's what. You can just go in and find what you need. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, come back Monday because I will have another project for you guys to see. So I hope you liked it. See you guys later. Bye guys. Bye.